Peace. I'm Dr. Delete, and you're watching Credit Healing. Peace, family. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing, where we answer all of your questions, concerns, and comments. So today we're going to take a deep dive into Chess DIY. Now, the reason for me making this video is because I want you to be able to see how you can improve the quality of your life by repairing your own credit. And so those of you who have been following for the course of years, I used to have my credit healing packages where I had the diamond package, the ruby package, the sapphire package, the gold package, etc. Well, what I've done is I've actually converted my packages into a software that is 10 times more powerful and more effective than my packages. Why? Because all you have to do is enter your information inside of chess and then chess automatically, it will locate the director item. It will find them. It will assign dispute letters, very powerful dispute letters for each director item. And so all you have to do is just print. So now what we're going to do is we're going to delve into it and take a look at how it works and how it functions. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the credit report here. And so we'll wait maybe like 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. And then after that, we'll see the derogatory items inside of chess. And then I'll show you how to utilize it so you can basically go ahead and dispute the derogatory items. All right. So right now we're just waiting. All right. So as you see here, it says success credit report updated and disputes are ready. So now this is the very powerful thing about chess. Everything is already assigned. Okay. So as soon as you dispute and you extract, you'll see all of your derogatory items here. All right. So this is all you have to do. Let's say for instance, we're going to go to the first one. This is late payments, right? So this particular client has late payments on their credit report. And so as you can see here, the templates are already assigned late payments, late payment templates. Now we're going to go to the second page. So as you can see, everything is already here. It shows the dispute, which is the late payment the credit bureau, which is TransUnion, then the type, which is late payment, the reason. So every reason is automatically assigned. However, if you would like to search or find your own reasons, you can do that. So let's say for instance here, now this person obviously has a lot of late payments, but we're gonna get them removed. And my letters are very, very powerful to where is that we don't have to try to locate uh, the actual dispute letters or the reasons everything automatically assigned. So all we have to do is print. But for the purpose of showing you this, we're going to say, um, I don't know, not late. All right. Let's go here. And so we're going to select this one. Okay. I'm going to select that one. And there are many different reasons that you can select. As you can see, we'll go down the list. And let's say this is my second attempt, but this is obviously the first time that we have extracted. So we're not going to um, go with that one. So we're going to say this particular reason. It says, according to the law, certain data in my records must be accurate and verified. Please correct and verify this account number entry or delete it from my records. Okay. So we'll just select that one. And then you can actually read the reasons and find the exact reason that you would like to dispute and everything is already in here. So we have hundreds of reasons in here. We have hundreds of templates in here and basically our system is very powerful and you don't have to do anything. Now, as you can see, everything is already there. Late payments. And we'll go to the charge off next. Okay. So now the charge offs are here. And we're going to select a template. Let's say, for instance, we want to use another template. 
you can scroll down and let's say for instance 15 day construction notice all right so we're going to select that one and for TransUnion, we're going to do the same. All right. So basically, there's not much that you have to do, but I'm just showing you what you can do when you are utilizing chess. So the creditors are all there. Now, I do want to mention this. This is very important. We're going to go back. So sometimes what happens is when we extract the credit report and it's placed inside of your dispute center, Sometimes what happens is the credit bureau may not report the exact creditor that is associated with this particular account. Okay. So the credit bureau may not show the exact creditor for many reasons. One reason is because the creditor may not have reported their information to the credit bureaus. Okay. And so it's not going to show or reflect on your credit report. So therefore, you have to track the creditor down because it's not going to appear in the creditor's uh, section inside of your credit report. And therefore, you have to actually locate them. And once you do, you will just type in that particular creditor. OK, so let's say, for instance, we'll just say. Um, let's say capital. Let's say capital one. Right. So this is a charger of account. And for this capital one account. Uh, we'll say, I think that this account has substantial errors that must be fixed based on the fact of law. Please verify all of, all of its parameters as appropriate and delete. If verifiable, please remove at once. If unverifiable, please remove at once. All right, so we'll just select that one. Okay, so we'll just select that one for that particular account. And everything's automatically assigned. So there's not much that you have to do except print. So we're just verifying it is all that's always good to just verify everything that's on here. OK, so after you have extracted your credit report, it's a good practice to verify the information and make sure that all of the creditors are there, because, again, this is another one. And so all you have to do is just copy this account number. And then after you copy the account number, what you'll do is you'll just log into your account. To view your credit report and then you'll just click on you click the control and f and then you'll find this particular account number after you find the account number it's going to show you the creditor's name now what you may have to do is google this particular creditor and then once you google them and you find them then you'll just type it in here and then it'll show accordingly so let's say for instance the collection bureau select that one and so election bureau. Bureau. Which like this one, you're just for demo purposes. So some of these you will have to basically search and you have to find um, because and it doesn't take long, but you will have to do that because it's not reflecting on the credit report. OK. So that's the only thing about how the creditors and the collection agencies report the information. Now, the second thing is this. Sometimes what happens is the collection agency, they may change locations. So they may say, stay on the street, one, two, three street, suite A. Well, they may change their location and then stay on and relocate to, let's say, for instance, 999 uh, Lobdale Street. OK, and when they do that, they don't report it to the credit bureaus when they don't report it to the credit bureaus. This then cause conflict when you're trying to locate the collection agency or the creditor. So once you have located them. Then all you have to do is just put it right in there. We'll say community. Community. So now all you have to do is just print. That's it. So you just click on the print all. Now I'm not, I'm not going to click on print all because it's going to show you some sensitive data that should not be shown publicly. But all you have to do is you click on print all. And then after you print the letters, then what you'll do is uh, you'll print it. And then after you print it, then you have to get it notarized. It's very, very important 
to get your dispute letters notarized because this serves as a stronger case for to the to dispute the item because now the credit bureaus as well as the collection agencies they know that you're serious and you have a binding agreement to dispute the director item and it makes your disputes more stronger and a lot better so we highly recommend that you notarize your letters and if you have um, any questions about notarizing your letters or if you need your letters notarized then just contact us and then we'll notar uh, notarize them for you digitally because this allows us to be able to provide services for you. And so after you notarize them, all you have to do is just fold them. Once you fold them, then put them in the envelope and then uh, send them out. That's as easy as it is. So the process for you to dispute your derogatory items is very simple and very easy. And we've made sure of that for you. So again, this is Chess. Welcome to Chess. Now, some of you... I understand that you may not want someone to view your credit report because, you know, you may not want somebody into your personal information. There's others. You may be a little bit embarrassed about what you've done over the past. You don't have to be embarrassed with us because we are professionals and we have been providing these services for a very long time. And so we just want you to feel comfortable with disputing your direct your items because we want you to be able to attain loans, uh, personal loans, be able to move into your own home. Uh, we want for you to be able to, you know, obviously be able to have vehicles that you can drive around, reduce your debt, refinance your loans, etc. And so chess is a very easy way for you to be able to do that. And we made it very simple and very easy. And you don't have to try to figure out what letters to dispute, what to use, because chess literally does everything for you. All right, family. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. If you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace. Mail, when I send it off, um, I'm going to show you the receipt that comes with it, which is a fourth step. So, bear with me, family, and stay tuned, and I'll show you exactly what to do.